Okay, now we're going to wrap up Module 7, U Inc. You know that we built on this concept of U, and we've expanded so that it also incorporates not just the U who runs the household, the U who builds a family. It now is the U who builds your own financial independence. So in locking this all together, we are now going to talk about unlimited success. The concept of unlimited success, it comes down the road with personal development, professional development, and self-actualization. That is unlimited success. Now, Earl Nightingale defined success as the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. That was a nice definition of success when you think about it. The progressive realization of a worthy ideal means that every day you are moving towards that thing that you want to have happen and that goal that's in your mind, building it on little steps. Remember we talked about little steps make big differences. So again, take this definition down. Take it to heart. Remember this definition, the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. That's the success, and it's not the destination. Too many people are goal-oriented in the sense that, I'm trying to achieve this goal, and what happens when they achieve that goal? Do you know what is the most, the most upsetting or letdown, the biggest letdown? I coached for many years, was involved in several championship teams, and the euphoria that happens after the final out of the championship game, and you have come this full pathway, this full journey, and you now have won the championship, the euphoria for that moment is so fleeting, it is so momentary, it's ridiculous. It gives you the greatest hangover you could ever have because you then come to recognize that, wow, I enjoyed that trip, that journey was fantastic. That was where the real success was. That moment of championship, that moment of real success, and that moment where the goal is over and you've reached it, it's fleeting. It's so minute in comparison to the actual journey. So I think that you want to remember that in life, that you want to really continue this journey. So it's all about financial independence. And it's a journey. It's not totally a destination. Because once you get there, if you get to that end point, you're going to have a horrible hangover, that moment that you realize, I've accomplished everything I wanted, and I'm done. Well, you're not done. You're never done. So you've got to enjoy the journey on the pathway. Progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Unlimited success looks like experience and projection. So experience is awareness. You're aware of the things we talked about, unawareness being the point where you don't know what you don't know. Now when you gain awareness, you know what you didn't know, you learned what you didn't know, and now you're able to use what you didn't know. And that leads to wisdom. Wisdom makes you able to help others with what you know. That's a great point of life to be in. It's very highly, highly commoditized in a lot of senses. Now, this is a 10,000 hour rule. I don't know if you ever heard of the 10,000 hour rule, but it's been said many times that if someone can master something and become a true master of something, they have to put about 10,000 hours in. Now, if you put 10,000 hours in into any event, skill, or talent, whatever you do, about 10,000 hours, you are a total, total authority. You are totally at the top of the mountain, but 10,000 hours. Now, there's a way to shortcut some of that, but again, that goes back to this overnight success concept, this quick money concept, fast buck. 10,000 hours is not a short period of time. So it all comes in the form of income coming from service. As we shared with you many, many times, if you want more income, you need to provide more service. You can't provide the same amount of service you're doing and earn 10%, 20%, 30% more income. You can't raise the prices of what you do and ask for more money by providing the same service. That doesn't even make sense. I mean, think about it. Would you have the actual nerve and goal to raise your prices for the exact same service that you were doing for a person? Makes no sense. Companies do it all the time, but they also go out of business. Now, it comes from a projection. It comes from visualization. You have to visualize that which you want. That progressive realization of a worthy ideal comes from your own internal visualizations. If you want to be it, you need to see it. The first thing you need to do is see it. So you need to visualize it. That comes with an unshakable belief. We talked about beliefs and values, but you have to be unshakable in your belief. You can't allow little 
fallbacks. You can't allow little things to get in your way. You can't allow the little walls that rise up because those are adversarial to your success. And those are moments where you have to face the adversity. Those are the things that grow you in character and grow you in financial success. This is all value driven. So it's about the service. And again, at the core of all of that is the fact that you want to develop relationships. It's relationship driven. Now in closing on all of this, I wanted you to see and remember, you may be familiar with this, but Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Now basically, Maslow started out physiologically, safety, love, emotional, right? And then esteem, how you feel about yourself, all the way up to self-actualization. But where real financial independence starts to grow is if you start to reach the level of self-actualization, the pinnacle of self. That takes a lot of things. You have to learn who you are, learn why you believe what you believe, learn what your value systems are. You have to really develop that key, right? That essence of who you are so you can share it with others. And you have to have that hair on fire urgency. This can't be a sometimes thing. This can't be, oh, I'll do it today, but not tomorrow, or I'll get it next week, or I'll procrastinate till next month. This has to be a daily event. Your hair needs to be on fire every single day. You want to become financially independent, you need to pay the price. It's not easy, but it is attainable. But you need to do the work and pay the price and then reap the rewards. You reap what you sow. If you don't sow, you don't reap. Too many people stand in front of that fire and say, give me fire and I'll give you wood. It doesn't work that way. That's why 95% of our society ends up financially dependent. The 5% understand that I need to pile wood. So if I'm going to pile wood, I need to go cut it down. I need to chop it. I need to get it ready. I need to then store it. I need to have wood. And then I need to put wood in and start a fire. That's what we're talking about. Your hair needs to be on fire every single day so that you can have unlimited success. I'll see you in Module 8.